Have you ever imagined a tool that can interact with your computer environment like a human? Today, we're exploring Claude Computer Use, a groundbreaking AI tool that can manipulate your computers the way people do by looking at a screen, moving a cursor, clicking buttons, typing text, run tasks, and even write code for you. So let's dive right in. First, we'll head to the GitHub page, where you can access the beta version of Claude Computer Use. This AI is capable of controlling your computer environment, and today, I'll show you step-by-step step how to set it up and use it to perform tasks automatically. But before we get started, a quick caution. Since it's in beta, there could be a few bugs, so let's be mindful of that as we go along. Now, to get Claude Computer Use working, we need to set it up using Docker. First, make sure you have your Docker engine running. If it's your first time, Docker will automatically download and set up the required container images on your local system. Don't worry, this part is pretty straightforward. You will require to proceed with the next steps using Bash Terminal. A very simple Bash Terminal for Windows is Git Bash, which we will use in this demo. But you can use any Bash Terminal of your choice. We begin by fetching our Claude API key and setting it as an environment variable. Simply copy your Claude API key, paste it into the Bash terminal, and export it using the command. If you're using Windows, just add WinPTE at the start of your command when you are running the Docker command to ensure compatibility with Git Bash. And there you go. Once you've entered the command, Docker will get to work. When the setup is complete, you'll see the message Claude Computer Use is ready in your terminal. Now that the setup is done, let's open the demo interface. Navigate to https colon slash slash localhost colon 8080 slash on your browser, and you'll see a simple streamlit application where you can communicate directly with the AI. Here's where it gets interesting. You can ask Claude to perform tasks like opening programs, searching online, or even writing code. Let's start by asking it to find the latest video on YouTube from AI Demos. Watch how Claude takes over. It opens Firefox, searches YouTube, and in a few seconds, there you go. It found our latest video, ChatGPT Canvas, Notebook Elements, and Movie Jam. But that's not all it can do. In the next part, we'll challenge Claude with some more complex tasks, like writing and running code. Now, let's take it a step further. I've asked Claude to write a Python script for simple addition. It opens the text editor and creates a new file called addnumbers.pi. After writing the code, Claude seamlessly opens the terminal and runs the file. The result? A working Python program that adds numbers. Simple but impressive, right? It even checks for any errors in real time, adjusting where necessary. Now, let's put Claude through one final test, retrieving live data from the web and handling data in spreadsheets. I've asked Claude to fetch the top five products from Product Hunt and put the data in a spreadsheet. It opens Firefox, navigates to the website, collects the relevant data, and displays the results in a spreadsheet. It quickly compiles the top five products, proving its capability to fetch and input live data accurately. And just like that, it completes the task. If you're looking for a way to automate repetitive tasks, manage complex workflows, or simply optimize your daily operations, Claude Computer Use is definitely a tool to explore. If you enjoyed the video, like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos.